Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. So, I, can you guess what we're going to talk about today? But before I get started, I just want to say I know we have a lot of guys who are new to the channel and I'm so excited and happy you're here. So today, you are more than welcome to stay and watch this video, but we are going to talk about the best wire-free bras for a visit. So if you're not interested in that, totally fine. You totally have my permission to hop off of this one. But before you go, you might want to point your wives and your girlfriends to this video because even if they're not going to visit somebody in prison, wire-free bras are really good for you. Um, I'm trying to transition to, away from wire and going into wire-free full-time, not just for visit. And I'll tell you why, because there have been studies where wearing a wire is associated for many years and for a certain amount of hours for many hours a day day after day month after month year after year can be associated with a, an increased risk of breast cancer and that's because wearing a wire or a tight wire around your midsection right here um can reduce the natural lymph 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 flow couldn't say that so i'm like this major anatomy and physiology nerd Here's a fun fact about me. I have a degree in sports medicine and I have never used it once except for like fun stuff like that. But um, I eat that stuff up. I don't have the statistic with me. I Googled it right before I made this video and I couldn't find it, but I know I have it saved in a folder in my emails because when I got it, I sent it to my sisters and all of my friends and I saved it for future use. However, the sun is going down and your girl needs some daylight. So I will insert those facts either in this video, um, I'll just put the picture of them in so you guys can check them out or in the description box below the video. But the point is, it's really good for us to either, um, for us women, for your wives and girlfriends, if you're a man, or mothers or any woman in your life to either transition away from move, from wearing wire and as soon as you get from home from work or as soon as you get done with the day, have her practice or you ladies get into the practice of taking off your bra. Um, and just going around the house bra free. So like if you're at home doing um, cleaning and that kind of stuff, just housework on a Saturday, right? You don't necessarily have to put on a bra or put on a loose sports bra, something that will not be too tight around here and not restrict your body's natural lymph flow. That's a hard one to say. And your lymph is, um, is moving through your body constantly and detoxifying your blood. It's getting rid of those to toxins. So you want to try to... Um, avoid tight things around here or the wire around here anything tight around like i used to wear elastics around my arms i used to wear really tight clothes you want to take those off as fast as you can okay that's not what this video is about that was just my public service announcement and for you guys you're welcome to stay you're welcome to hop off here's how we're going to do this video i posted a poll on the strong prison lives and families facebook and instagram pages like eight months ago right it took me a while to make this video because i asked for suggestions on the best wire free bras for our girls for our girls no pun intended for our girls but for our members but also um i asked for you know what your shape and sizes were and your age weight range as far as perky or need some help in the perky area and I went out and I purchased every single bra that was a suggestion I also took them out of my collection the ones that I had from my visits where I go wire free as well because in for you guys that aren't um associated with visiting a loved one in prison you cannot have underwire in your bra because you need to pass through a metal detector in order to be processed into visiting an inmate. However, you will not pass the metal detector if there's wire in your bra at most facilities. Now, there was a time where, here's a quick story before we get into this, where we were waiting to be processed and there was a woman who um, just kind of being like a little nasty and giving everybody an attitude. And I turned to her and I said, oh, it's your first time here? She said, yes. I said, is there wire in your bra? She said, yeah. And I was like, well, just to let you know, you're not going to pass the metal detector. You got to pop those wires out of your bra. She's like, I'm not wearing my $80, $80 Victoria's Secret bra. I said, well, they're not going to let you in with it. So you need to figure it out because you're going to hold up everybody here behind you. And she gave me a major attitude. And she finally, I was like, you could try to pass it, but I'm telling you, every single one of us in here has tried to pass with underwire and not one of us ever has. You do that once or twice and you realize I'm just going to go not wearing underwire and get in as fast as I possibly can. So every single person, every single woman in there that wasn't there for the first time was like, she's right. She went, she destroyed her bra 
took the wires out of her Victoria's Secret bar. bra. By the way, you guys, comment below if you've experienced with this. Every single one of us, they will not give you scissors in prison. They won't give you tools to get the wires out of your bra. You don't realize how hard it is to pop a wire out of your bra, which is crazy because every single one of us have worn the crap out of our favorite wire, wired bra and eventually they pop out, but you can't get them out to save your life when you're trying. So she wound up like you could use like a pen. One girl told me one time, she's like, I gnawed it with my teeth like a little rat. She goes, and I finally, finally got them out because you're like in panic mode. And so, and you need to be wearing a bra to get in. Will they check you for it? No, do whatever you want. But if you're watching this video, you know, and you should be prepared. Anyway, so that girl was at the FCI and she was supposed to be at the camp right down the block. And so at the camp, they don't have to pass their metal detectors. So I made her ruin her bra for no reason. She could have worn the wires in there, but kind of that's what you get for being a nasty person to me. Anyway, okay. So I ordered these in order from my least favorite and all the way to my most favorite, what I think looks the best for me. And then a couple of that I like lighter. And then we are go. So I'm going to talk through these with you guys real quick. And then we're going to do the t-shirt test. Yes, for you boys that are still on here, us women have the t-shirt test where I will put each one of them on under a t-shirt so you can see how they look for me because some of them are really nice and perky. Some of them go out a little crazy. Some of them make, mush them together and you get the uni, uniboob sports bra thing. So I'm going to be the, t the test dummy for all of us. Not dummy. That sounded horrible. But I'm going to be the tester for all of us and you guys can see. So just wearing a plain white t-shirt. I do have a camisole tank top underneath, which I do often at visit anyway for two reasons. One, because it's just a little bit of extra support shelf in there. So it helps push them up a little bit. Two, um, because I always freeze in the visit room. They keep it cold, whether it's July or December, I am freezing in that visit room. They keep it cold with the air conditioning in the summer. And then also you're not moving around that much. You're not eating as much or for me, at least personally, I'm not eating as much as I usually do because I try to stick to healthy food and I don't like the food there. Um, and I'm not again, moving around, my blood's not flowing. So by the end of visit, I'm freezing every time in July, you will find me in long sleeves or a sweater sometimes. So, um, let's okay so the camisole the shelf bra underneath now just for reference you guys i got 40 year old girls here yes i just told you my age and they are not the perkiest i have never breastfed i've never had children but i have it, it's a similar situation because i have gained and lost so much weight for fitness competitions i, I was like a female version of bodybuilding back in my um 20s I used to do what were called figure competitions so you would have to gain and lose a lot of body fat and with that I went from 34d down to a b um within a few months and then I would gain them all back and I'd go up to like a double d so I'm back to because I stopped doing competitions when I hurt my I tore my hamstring when I qualified to train for nationals which is a different story for a whole another time because you know me and my tangents but the point is I gained I went back to my normal weight into my normal bra size which is a 34 d but very flat and saggy i hope the boys are still out here again i will be i'm an open book so um until i get surgery to fix those things if i ever get surgery, like you can't fix them unless you have surgery so i need to rely on um external help we'll say so here's the first trick that i always did um that i found to be the best for me throughout the years where I was testing wire-free bras when I was visiting Adam. So wire-free technology has come a really long way and I think that's because of breast cancer research and I think that's because of the increased rates of breast cancer over the years because I've been visiting Adam for 10 years. Not that it wasn't around, but it's gotten a lot more prevalent. So um, what I would do is I would just take my favorite bras and I would pop, I would get an an extra one of the ones that I liked. I would pop the wires out at home. So what you do is you just take, um, let's see if I can find it for you. You just go right here. You just take a scissor. What I do is I take a scissor, I bend it, I make a little hole. Can you guys see that hole? Make a little hole in there. The wire will slide right out. Something that um, one of our girls suggested was to go on eBay and to buy plastic underwires because then you can slip those right back in so you're taking your favorite wired bra you're taking the metal wire out and you could put a plastic wire in i was never able to i found them for a while but then i was never able to find my size and then i wound up finding these really good wire free bras and going back to the lymph drainage thing 
I try to stick to those now too. So that's a real good trick. Sometimes this one, okay, so this is, I'm wearing a wired bra right now. It's the same bra as this. When I, which is a wonderful bra, wired bra for push up. But when you pop the wires out of this, the whole thing just doesn't work. It's like, bleh. so make sure that you um, are, it might be, I wouldn't do it with an expensive bra. I wouldn't do it with a Victoria's Secret bra. This was from Kohl's. I waited for a sale. These are like $40 bras. And then with a sale, I think it was like buy one, get one free. And I had Kohl's cash. So I got it for, I think $5. I was able to pop them out. Don't really love it, but it is a possibility. I'll suggest this too. When you take the ones that you're popping your wire out, I don't know if you guys know this about bra sizing. This is really cool. I just learned this recently. But you know how like sometimes you can fit into a 34D or a 36C? That's because the band here also, the bigger the band here, the smaller the cup size, right? Or the bigger the cup size, the smaller the band size. So some people can say like, I'm a 35F or I'm a 32F. That's because your probably boobs aren't that big. It's just that you have a bigger band, right? So what I would personally do to get more push up is I normally wear a 34D. I would get a 36C to just to get a little more push up in there and to get them up. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so the next set that I have going on here are push up sports bras. Okay, so the every single one of these is from Walmart. This one is the um, Fruit of the Loom. Walmart and it's a sports bra, but it comes in sizing. This is a 34. This one is awesome, but this one gives me the girls that go that way. So I tend to not wear it too much, but um, no wire, great support, great push up. So for you, I have a lot of, I have like separated. So there's a lot of, um, see, I have, sorry guys. I hope the guys are still on here, but I have a lot of separation between them. So if you're a girl that has like really good cleavage and you want them separated a little bit, this would be better for you. Here's another one. If you have, this one is from, it's Champion from Target. I'm sorry, not Walmart. Champion from Target. This one's really good. The only thing with this one is it does have metal hooks in the back. So if you have a really sensitive metal detector, then you might not get away with that. And also you guys, if you're new to this, two clasps here and then three here usually are good. If you have larger breasts, if you're a full figured woman and you have three across and three down, you might not get in. So a trick for that is that might not pass the metal detector. It might be too much metal. So a trick for that would be either you could take a tweezer and you could pop these out. Or what I do is I'll get it one band. Size. Well, I always wear my band on the tightest. So if you can go tightest, then I would just cut these two off because you, you're you not using these two anyway. If you need to wear it on the loosest strap, you know, when you plug it in right here, then I would get one band size bigger, do it on the tightest and cut those two off. It's just a trick that I've learned throughout the years of doing this. Here's another sports bra, also the Fruit of the Loom, the same one as the other one, just a different color with a cute back. Um, good padding for you guys. What I do find is, because I'm larger breasted, um, this kind of cuts me off a little bit. So if you have, again, if you have not much space between your breasts and maybe not a huge cup size, because they might spill into here, but that's a really good option for you. And then this is the, again, the exact same one in white, because, um, you know, I'll always get a black, a white, or a nude, depending on what I wear. Like I don't want to wear a white bra with a black t-shirt there. Usually I stick to the nude. So those are the sports bras. Those are really good. Sometimes what I'll do is the ones that don't have any metal, but I will layer. So I will put a regular bra on and then, or one that I pop the wire out and then I'll put a sports bra over it or I'll put uh, like a half cami type of thing, which we'll get to in a second. This one was a suggestion that I have not tried yet. It is from, also from Walmart. It is Warner's brand. Warner? Yes, it's Warner's brand. Um, just, just a regular wire-free push-up. Um, I'm gonna say for me, this is okay. I tried it on obviously when I bought it, but I've never worn it to visit. I'm gonna say for me, it's okay. I don't think it's the best of the bunch. I think it's mediocre. So like if I was wearing a big sweater, it wouldn't be a big deal. If I was wearing a tighter t-shirt or like a bodysuit, I would probably lean on one of the, the better ones. So now these, 
or up to my, well, these are my three favorites, but they're really two favorites because it's two of the same, just a darker color and a lighter color. So this is the one that took me the longest to make this video because I had to search everywhere for this bra. It's from a company that's based in London and so many of our girls raved about this company. That's because it's called, it's the company is called Triumph and it's called Magic Wire. So there is a wire free wire in here. It's a non metal wire and it, you can see like it, there's movement, but there's also it holds it together. I have not worn this to visit. I'll tell you why I got this last week, the week before I went, the week that I went to visit. I was gonna wear this on the second day because I would have had backup in the car in case for some reason it set off the metal detector because we, you know how we are, we're all paranoid that we're gonna set it off, we're gonna have to change, especially the bra, because then you're stuck, they don't let you change in the bathroom. They make you go back to the car and figure it out. So then you're like topless in your car. For me, I'm like, oh my God, now they're gonna call, like somebody's gonna get, get me a charge for indecent exposure, plus like I, the cops are gonna drive by and get a show, you know how it goes, which there's ways around it. You put, leave your shirt on. You guys know the cheerleader change. We've all done it. If you don't, <laughs> hit me up in the comments and I'll teach you how. Easy peasy. But anyway, so I had planned to wear this on Sunday. I didn't realize on Sunday the shirt that I had brought to wear kind of was like a little bit, um, a little sheer right here. There was like two little sheer parts. And so you could see my straps of my bra. So this right here, the lace here would have been a little too much and it, it didn't look good. So um, I didn't get a chance to test this out, but this was on recommendation from so many girls who swear by it. It is Triumph, their magic wire push-up bra. It's a London company. So I actually reached out to them to get discount codes for our members because so many people bragged about them. Unfortunately, Triumph itself, Triumph itself, itself does not deliver to the United States. Um, however, this was available on Amazon, so I will put the link to where I found it below. I'll put the links to all of these where I find them below just to make it easier for you guys so you know exactly which ones that I'm using. The only ones that I'm not gonna put links to are my bras that I love uh, because you have to figure out the bras that you love and then pop out your underwire. And then actually above that, the bras that have number one, won my heart over. You guys are gonna laugh where I got this, but it was also on suggestion of our members and um, I never thought, and I've been wearing them like literally every single day, I need more because I wear, I've been wearing them back and forth like all week and then washing them on the weekends and then going back and forth. So I desperately need to wash them, but they are from Victoria's Secret Pink and they are the wire-free push-up bra. And you guys will see, for me, they work out perfectly. So it's just, there's absolutely no wire in there, but there's this band there's this band across there that really holds you up and it's padded enough and it's a great, it really is a great push-up bra. In fact, I got, um, they don't come in like 32, 34, they don't come in numbers and cup sizes. They come in small, medium, large, extra large, etc. So I originally thought I was a medium, but the band, and I'm a 34, so that's not really that big, but the band was so tight on this one, I actually wound up getting um, bruising in here. So I went back and... I got this one for $9.99 in a clearance bin around Christmas when I was in Victoria's Secret getting my niece's gift cards for um, their Christmas presents. So I went back a couple of weeks ago and I got it in this color because you can wear this color. You can wear nude under any color. You can wear it under a black shirt. You can wear it under a white shirt. You can wear it under any color. And I find that the band doesn't really show when you're wearing black like it's got the pink logo on there. But um, I got it in a large, it fits perfectly. I don't know what, like how high up they go to, if they go to like extra, extra, extra large, I'm not sure. But this has been, you could see it's starting to get worn. I've only had it for like three weeks because I wear it all the time. This is what has allowed me to transition out of wire bras every day. Great shape, great hold, um, no complaints. And then you'll see with this one, because it does have, this bra has the um, the three strap, the, the three prong, the three hooks, you know what I mean? So the first time I wore this one to visit, like I was telling you before, I just cut that third one off because I wear it on the smaller ones. And um, 
actually shouldn't because this one was too tight, but I was desperate and I was leaving the hotel room and I was like, oh crap, I don't want to have to change my bra if that sets it off. And it didn't. It wound up not setting it off. I wore this one with all of it the visit after and I was fine. So typically the ones with two across are fine. If it's three or more across, you could potentially have a problem with the metal detector. Just remember that and then just snip that right off it it has no effect on the bra unless you wear it. it'll close just the same and everything but unless you wear it on that third hook then go a size up like i said earlier and and close it smaller tighter you know okay so here's oh and last up somebody had suggested getting the genie bra the genie bra has never worked for me i think if you're um smaller and you don't have a problem with sagging if you're younger if you've never breastfed that kind of a thing i think you can get away with the genie bra this isn't the genie bra but it's very similar to the genie bra this is from walmart and it is um i don't know what brand I don't know, but if I see, it's just from Walmart. And if I see it, if I find that, I will put it in the, the box below. I got this for about $9.99 at Walmart. And I, what I do, I don't wear this alone, but I will wear it over because there's absolutely no metal on this. I will wear it over when I wear a bra that I popped the wire out of just to make sure I get the lift that I want. I will wear this on top of it. And yes, sometimes I'll wear a camisole tank top on top of this because, you know, you want the girls to stand up. And then... Same with this. This was a cheap one that I got at, I believe, Rainbow years ago, or maybe even Joyce Leslie when that was still around. Just one of those cheapo, um, you know, fast fashion stores, like a Forever 21. I think Express has these. This is probably like around $7 or something. I can't get away with wearing these alone, but you probably can if you have smaller, you know, smaller, perkier, or you don't care. You just don't care. You just need something and it's just something light. But I will wear these around the house, like I was saying earlier, like on a Saturday morning when I want something, I just want them like held in, but I don't want to cut off the lymph flow over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try all these on, do the t-shirt test for you guys. And so you could see how they look. And also one bra that I was not able to find that was an honorable mention, like three or four people said they love them, was the Target Wire Free bra. I went to Target. I did not find a Target brand. I didn't know if maybe you guys meant the Jillian O'Malley brand um, because that's, I think, exclusive to Target. I saw their Wire Free bras. They were no different than the ones that I have here. Um, I didn't see much difference when I tried them on, so I didn't get them. But for um, everybody that is... For, I just want to mention it because it was a bra that came up a couple of times when I pulled Prison Wives to find out what they found were the best bras, wire-free bras to get through the metal detector so you can get into visit. Okay, so give me one second. I'm going to change. We're going to do the t-shirt test in front of the mirror and then we will be golden. Hang on, guys. So just so you guys can see the difference, this is just my, I took off the camisole underneath so they, we don't change anything. So, you know, you could just see the bra itself working. Just so you can see the difference, this is the regular wired bra that I was wearing when I shot this video. So let's move on. I'm going to do this exact same bra when I pop the wires out and then I'm going to put, well, I'll show you that and then I will put the, um, the little, what do you call it? Camisole thing on top of it. So give me one second. Okay. So it didn't make any sense to do it in the mirror because you couldn't see me. So you might as well just see me here. So this is the same bra that I just had on a minute ago but I popped the wires out of this one. So you can see it's not it's not bad, but it's not nearly as good as it was before. And I apologize for the see-throughness of this t-shirt, but I just wanted to show you. So you could see, um, okay, not the best. So I'm gonna put the cami on top of this and I will be back to show you that. Okay, so you could see with this one that um, it helped so much, just kind of push them up. It also helped you guys, if you wanna wear a t-shirt, um, this helps with the see-throughness because it's a, it's that clear genie bra type of cami. Um, so that helped a ton and I would feel no problem. I would have no problem going into visit like this. It's not my favorite of the way that they look, but it's not bad at all. So next up, we are going to do, um, a couple of those sports bras from Walmart. Hang on one sec. Okay. So here's the Walmart push-up sports bra. First of all, the strappage. So you've got to be careful with the type of shirt that you wear, especially if it's in the summer, you know, but in the winter, you can get away with it. Not my favorite, very see-through, but sorry, I'm just showing you guys this, but not my favorite, not 
kind of giving me like those Madonna cones for like out here too. So my friend that is smaller than me and, and set differently than me swears by this brat visit. It is her absolute favorite. So you're going to have to go to the store. You're going to have to try it on. This is Walmart again. Not for me personally. It's really hard for me to talk you guys through this. Like it's not awful, but <laughs> I got a conage. I got... I look like Madonna, the material girl, you know, not my thing. And again, I'm popping out of the top of this, but so I would say for my smaller girls who are set closer together, this one's all you, um, for me personally, doesn't do the job for me. Okay. So here is the Warners. Um, again, very see-through. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm t not much push up. Not my favorite. Not the worst thing in the world but not my favorite. Like if I had to, okay. But I guess if you have to do anything, okay. Still a little bit of conage over here. It's making me look smaller than I actually am. Um, and this one is also set wide. So if your, if your breasts are set close together, you could be good with this one. It's just, I don't know. It's just not for me. Not a great one for me. Not the worst, not the best. Just meh. Okay, so this is my runner up. This is number two for me. This is the one that so many of our members love. It's from Triumph. It is the wire free, I'm sorry, the magic wire. There's wire in here, it's just not metal. Um, the magic wire push-up bra, I forgot to tell you guys this, it runs between 50 and $75. I think I got this one for 50 or 60 on Amazon. Um, and it's not the worst thing. It's, it's, no, it's not bad. It's good. It's great. I wish that I had um, something else over this to show you, but I like the shape. I like the hold. I like the push-up. They're not going anywhere. Um, sorry about that. The phone rang. But yeah, this is, this is a really good one. It's not, it's not my favorite just because I found that other one. But if I didn't find the Victoria's Secret one, this would be my number one. Um, I think it would work for big girls, for small girls, for um, saggy girls for perky girls. I think it's a really, really good one. I'm going to have to wear it and make sure it doesn't set off the metal detector, but I don't see why it would because this was marketed as wire-free push-up bra. And in all the comments on Amazon, I didn't see a prison wife comment, but I saw a lot of people that work for TSA that have to pass metal detectors and they didn't have any problems. So, um, Triumph is a, it's got one and a half thumbs up only because my other one has two thumbs up. This is, if I had to pick my number, not number two, this is my number one pick. This is my newest ride or die. I wear it every single day. This is the Victoria's Secret Pink wire-free push-up bra. I want 55 of them and I want them in every color. So um, this is what it looks like. We have, look, nice shape. I don't have any like cone thing going on. Great push-up. I feel very perky. I feel like you could really see, um, my body and my curves in this um and i look like me i look like the me that wears wire bra like on the other days that looks funky um of the week there's enough separation in the cleavage it's not pushing me together it's not pushing them apart um and this got a lot of really good reviews from our members too so the top three from our members were the target one that i could not find um, the Triumph one that I just showed you, and that was a little coney for me. This one is, gives me a better shape. And then Victoria's Secret wire-free push-up bra. It's Victoria's Secret pink, by the way. So if your Victoria's Secret is separated into like the regular Victoria's Secret and the pink store, I had to literally leave Victoria's Secret, find the pink store. If you guys have them separately in my mall, they were, um, and get them there. And amazing if you can get them on sale like i said i got this i got the first one i got that maroon one in the bins it was 9.99 regularly i think this was 36 dollars. i am willing to go back and get five more at full price not that i will but like i want i literally wear this every day love so for me you guys that is my oh let's put the girls away now that i've shown them enough on this video hopefully the boys aren't still here as i've been grabbing myself and seeing myself and wearing this see-through t-shirt to show you guys, but um, best wire-free bra, I believe I have found for my, you know, little larger, saggy, 40-year-old girls is number one, first and foremost, Victoria's Secret Pink wire-free push-up bra. So I would love to know in the comments below what bras work for you, why, um, and what kind of, you know, 
you don't have to be too graphic or detailed, but are you 20 and perky? Are you um, plus size and they're kind of saggy and heavy? And what you use and what works for you because these videos are to teach everybody else going through it with us, but also coming up behind us. Um, because you, I am sure, all remember the first time you went and you had wire in your bra and you didn't know what the heck you were doing and you left there crying because they turned you away and you had to go find a dollar store or Walmart or ruin your $80 Victoria's Secret bra or leave your bra in the bathroom and try to sneak in without a bra, that kind of a thing. So we don't want the people coming up behind us to do that. Okay, I'm out of breath because I'm doing a freaking squat <laughs> talking to you guys, but that, and I'm like changing really fast trying to get this done because speaking of, I've got to go get in my workout. Um, I just wanted to do this while the sunlight was out. Like I said, I've been waiting about six or eight months to get it done because I finally bought all of the bras that I needed for it. So thank you guys for your help with this. Make sure that you subscribe. Um, if you guys, men, dudes, made it to the end, I am sorry about this. I swear we'll go back to regular normal content tomorrow, but this is super helpful for our membership and it was a requested video. So you guys keep staying strong, keep, strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to all being, behind, all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to yours. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Until then, stay strong. Bye. You know I love you when I just showed you my boobs 55 times on YouTube.